Good evening. Good evening, Francisco. How are you, Oscar? Good evening. Hello, Roxana. Hello. How are you? Very good. Nice. Good, good. How was your day? Busy day, but happy. <laughs> nice. That's the attitude, you know, even if the person is busy, you know, uh -huh. yes. be happy and, and positive. Yes. Yeah, right. But we have to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course, of course. Exactly. Yeah. We don't have any other options. No, we don't uh -huh. have any. <laughs> right, right. When did you return, Oscar? Yesterday at night. Oh, okay. And I... I came early in the morning to to my job. Okay. I had to. I had. Hey, you are you are children. Yeah, they, they're always baby, asking for things. <laughs> hey, Say good. hello. Say hello. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Okay. Yeah. You know the, the little one, the the, the 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 baby of the five, he's always uh -huh. like, "Daddy, this, daddy, that." <laughs> and uh, and he should be asking, like, what time do you finish the class? Uh, and things like that. And how old is he? He's going to be four in uh, oh. in three months. He's going to be four years old oh. in three months. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful a, age. He's always following you. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful age, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and he's mm -hmm. the last baby that I, that I had, so... I'm trying to enjoy okay. him as much as possible. <laughs> uh huh. You have to take okay. care, take a care of him, and spend time with the family. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So he is four, and the other girl, she's six. So uh -huh. uh, she's going to be six. Wow. So they're they're still little. When when kids are teenagers, is another story. <laughs> oh yes. A whole yes. different story. Totally different. Yeah. Sometimes they want to contradict you on purpose or they don't listen <laughs> to you. Uh -huh. you know, they have they, another no interest. Yeah, yeah, they, exactly. They have other interests. They're like, oh, yeah, dad, yeah, mom, whatever. Like, yeah. yeah. They don't yeah, like right. to be with yeah, the, right. their parents. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Anyways, oh, yeah. okay, so welcome back to December. Oh, yeah, welcome. My goodness, yeah. it's been a, 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 a tough year. It's been yeah. difficult. Yeah. It's been difficult, difficult in, in, in different aspects, financially, emotionally, mm -hmm. um, in, in, in all aspects. All aspects has been... Uh, has been a drastic change, you know, so. But we are here. Exactly. So I thank God for my life, for the life of my family, uh, because yes, thank course. God I haven't lost thank God. anybody yeah. close uh, 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 from the family, anybody from, from the family. family. So, mm -hmm. so I'm glad and I'm thankful with God. Yes, of course. Right. So welcome back to the first day of December, last month of the year, December 1st, 2020. So uh, let's talk about the things we covered yesterday. Let's see, Oscar was absent, Julia was absent. I was, I was lying, I was yes. lying. Uh, Irene me too, was present, Irene was present, so. Yeah, I, I couldn't stay yesterday, but I'm here. <laughs> good, very good. Nice. How do you say un día sí, un día no in English? I know. Alternate, alternate day. <laughs> day. Every other. Every, every other. other. Ah, okay. Every right. other day, yes. Every other day. Every right. other day. Okay, so we understand that, uh, you know, this time of the year, uh, companies usually have more work than normal. So, you know, so you yeah, gotta do this, that, you gotta do that. That's and, true. Mm -hmm, that's true. Yep. So you have to close the year and things like that. Julia, how are you, Julia? 
teacher. How Hello. are you? Hello, teacher. Alive. I'm alive. <laughs> All right. Good yeah. to have you back. Everything is good. Okay. You. So uh, the second unit of this course, um, they emphasize with listening. Um, what are the four macro skills? Second. Do you remember the name of the four macro skills? Speaking, in English? Speaking, writing and listening. Listening, speaking, reading and writing. Those are the four macro skills. Uh, what skills uh, does the TOEFL exam evaluate from you? They reading. evaluate two skills, reading comprehension and vocabulary. What's the other one? And listening. Grammar. Listening grammar. and grammar. But remember that grammar is not a skill. What is grammar? A structure. What is, what is a synonym uh, that we use for the word under? Mm. Oh. Sub skill. Sub skill. Uh -huh. Sub skill. So when we're talking about sub skills, uh, we are talking about things that are important in a language, but you don't really need it for communication. So I can say um, Guatemala is more big than El Salvador. More big. It's grammatically incorrect, but the message is there. So you're mm -hmm. supposed to say what instead of more big? Bigger. Bigger. Bigger, exactly. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, that's a very clear example that you can say Guatemala is more big, El Salvador is more small. Grammatically speaking, is very incorrect, but the message is there and people understand what you're trying to say. So in the TOEFL exam, they evaluate reading, listening and grammar so three things how much time do you have to evaluate the listening part how much time do you get you get 45 minutes okay. 45 minutes of listening exercises uh, at the beginning of the exam they give you short conversations and easy to understand easy to answer as you move forward conversations they tend to be longer and they ask you more questions so they don't evaluate uh, only your listening comprehension but they evaluate how much not that they evaluate but they test how much retention that you have so you say uh, uh, okay I understand everything but when the listening uh, finishes you forget the information and it's very easy to get distracted because you're paying attention, okay, uh -huh. and suddenly you start thinking about something else, and then you have the question. So it's a, uh, uh, they check your listening comprehension and also your retention. Any questions there? No teacher. No teacher. So uh, I also mentioned yesterday, uh, the differences between authentic and instructional listening. Who remembers that one? What is the difference between them two? Okay, authentic versus instructional. Okay, can you mention examples of listening exercises where the language is used in a very natural way, where English is used for native speakers. For example, in movies. Movies, what else? Listening to music. Music, mm -hmm. okay, let me write uh, movies, music, what else? In conversations with native speakers. Okay, mm -hmm. real conversations, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Real conversations. Um, documentaries. Mm -hmm. Tutorials. Tutorials. Mm -hmm. um, what is the word that I keep forgetting? Inductions. 
yeah, but it's not inductions. Well, there is another word. Okay, but anyways, uh, this right here, movies, music, real conversation, documentary, tutorials, etc., where English is used in a natural way, that is considered to be authentic material. So uh, I'm going to watch Forrest Gump. I'm going to listen to the Beatles. I'm going to watch Nat Geo or Netflix in English. Uh -huh. Those examples, those are examples of authentic material. Now, okay. what is instructional? The opposite. Example, the, the um, books that are useful for learning the language. Exactly. Books. When we talk about books, we're talking about interchange, for example, and top-notch. And there are a thousand more. There are thousands of thousands of, of English books. Now, when you're practicing your listening, it's good to have a combination of both. You should practice as much authentic and you should practice also with instructional. Now, can you give me advantages? Can you mention advantages of practicing with um, authentic material? For example, uh, we had a better, a, better a, a common idioms or words or sentence. Right, exactly. And the people speak uh, no, in normally. Exactly. So let, let me give you an example. Norma mentioned idioms. So we're having a conversation in Spanish with another Salvadorian, and suddenly you say, pues sí, si de tal palo tal astilla. You know, that's, that's real Spanish in El Salvador. Folk. Now, folk. Uh -huh. So someone that is learning Spanish in a classroom, so he or she will never see that idiom in a book. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So idioms. Now, what is an advantage of practicing instructional listening? Like top-notch in passages in... in and interchange and all that. It what is an advantage? Be, we can learn the structures to make the sentences or right. right. Grammar, grammatically correct right. words. Right, exactly. Because when you're watching a movie, when you're listening to music, nobody's mm -hmm. going to mention grammar. Okay, this yeah. is the simple mm -hmm. present, and mm -hmm. this is how you make the comparatives. <laughs> Nobody mm -hmm. will ever do that. But yes. on the other hand, when you're reading a book, when you're studying, there is someone to uh, usually explain uh, mm -hmm. grammatical uh, structures, uh, vocabulary, pronunciation, and things okay. like that. Okay. Any questions related with authentic and instructional? We have to, to study both. Yes. So okay. watch as much television as possible. Listen, listen to music in, uh, in English, tutorials, documentaries, but mm -hmm. at the same time, if there is a book that you can read where they explain grammar and everything, it's always good to have a, a, a combination of both. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's change topic. Uh, we have a listening activity, we have a speaking activity. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the age for retirement in El Salvador? I think for men it's 60 and for women 55. Okay. Well, 60 is not that bad. <laughs> but I think in the, in the last uh, government it was five years before. Five the, years? For the men 55. Oh, really? But I understand if you have that edges, but don't have the the a, the year to work. The time you couldn't, you couldn't retire. retire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I, I not remember. Uh, it's a twenty years to work. Twenty five. Okay. Exactly. Right. But, excuse me. Twenty five years of working. 
spheres. The square can guess. Without, without in, uh, in uh, illness days or uh, what to say, incapacidades, teacher? Sick leave. Uh huh. Uh, without that, that days. Okay. Right. So you know, I mean, sixty is 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 yeah, but. 60 is not that bad, but then again, yeah, but you need to be working for a specific amount of years. So I don't know. Anyways, uh, when do you think it's the best age to retire? I mean, it would be right now. You know, if you ask me, I would say right now. But in my, uh huh. Okay, in Depends my case, sure. teacher, I, I, I think if that 60 years is a good time, if you have enough solvents, economical solvents yeah. uh -huh. to, to this, uh, enjoy your life. Exactly. And you can make a travel and, and make another thing and, and just start in a, a normal life. And for me, it's, it's a good time. The problem in all countries is you don't have enough money to solve your economical situation exactly For the reason that people couldn't retire exactly i completely agree with you and you know that the teachers uh sector is a very clear example many of them they have the age to be retired but they're not financially prepared so yeah. they retire they receive their pension but they continue working so i completely agree with you all right so let me show you, uh, anybody else has any comments about what is the best age to retire? No? No. Okay, so let me show you the, the questions that we have here. Let me see this here. Retirement, right here. All right, 8 to 9 p.m., 8 to 9, 8 to 9, 8 to 9, right here. Okay, so here are the questions. Okay. Um, let me create the rooms. And here we go. I have in my group of the auditing, my boss is, his name is Jose, and my two, two other co-worker names to Jose. <laughs> it's, it's not common, it's rare that name. Yes, my boss, my, the, my boss name is Jose Victor, my, and the other two co-worker is uh, Mario Jose y Jose, I forgot the other name. I, I thinking to the change of your life with the normal, the normal activities. And yeah. we, don't, we don't have more responsibility, economic exactly. responsibility. 
that's what I think that you need to look out something to, to do in that leisure time because it's so it's important for me to always uh, learn something yeah yeah I, I don't know and I don't know if you think about that but uh, with uh, these new laws maybe they are going to give you a few um, uh, a little amount of money yes. so that yeah Presently, I, 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 I hear for one person, uh, she speak about it, uh, the um, amount of, of money uh, they receive when retire in two years more. Uh, you retire of the work, mm -hmm. because uh, you, you need more time for you, for, for you, for yourself. That, that's true. I think that for uh, in, in in the other hand, young people need to work too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and sometimes in the companies, all very old people don't let the job, and I think that they have to go to to rest and, and live with the pension. No sé cómo dice pensión. Yeah, pension. Probably, pension. Pension. Okay, thank you, teacher. <laughs> but sometimes I think that the people work because they need the money. Yeah. And it's a real life in our country that sometimes money is not enough. Yeah, maybe. But in some case, uh, I listen about people that uh, always working, uh, mm -hmm. always uh, to be working because uh, in the house is very boring. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. And they need to be in active. Okay. In five years. Uh huh. Are you planning to, to, to retire I, in five I, years? In five years. Uh, in five years, yes, because uh -huh. I will. Uh, uh -huh. I will. Complete. Uh -huh, you will you will have the age yes, and also I, the working year, the I working have, time. I have been the age. I have been the age in five years. Yes, for the time. By five years from now, I, you will have. Oh, re, you will have uh, achieved or completed the complete. minimum years and the minimum age for retirement. Yes. Okay, I see. In my case, um, I I'm not looking forward to my retirement. I haven't think. Why? About How many I, years? Okay, I think I I I have to have sixty-five years. Hmm. Uh -huh. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Uh, the retirement age for men in El Salvador is. 65 years, isn't it? No, 60. 60? Uh, 60 and 65, 55 for, for, for women. Two. Mm, not yet. Not yet, because I, I know that in my case, I, I, I need to work a lot of time, too. <laughs> yeah, if, if you won the lottery, you cover time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Maybe hey, when I learn English, I could teach English. In, I oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's a good, it's a, uh, it's a good plan, plan for the future. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we're... Uh, a meet, meet chief and the rest. And the rest. <laughs> yes. What do you see? I, you... I, uh -huh. I, I, I am I am 48 years old, but I was checking around. I, I'm not sure. Maybe the the age for retirement here in Salvador is 65. Yes, uh -huh. 65. There are yes. six, 60? 60? Yes. Six, or 60, 60, right. 
60. The, right. For the woman are five, 55, I think. Really? 55. 55. If for man is 60 or 65? 60. Ah, okay. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. 60, in my case, 60 is 11 years from now, so it's not that much. Yeah. <laughs> for me, it's 22 years more. <laughs> what is it? 22 years more. Okay. Working. <laughs> All right. I see it, I see it I think, far. I think 50, for example, in other, in other countries, for example, uh, in a European, European country, it's a, good, it's a good year because the people there have a, a good quality of life. But yeah, sure. in Salvador, it's, it's different. Yes, yeah, a little different. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And the next question is, wait, um, what do you uh, do? You think people who retire miss working? I think yes. Sometimes. Yes, of course. Sometimes yes. You miss the money. <laughs> yes, because they are used to. Uh, the Teacher? famous people uh, out of jubilation or retirement, perdón. Yeah, retirement. retirement. In this context, what it means? What means come out? Come out. Uh, yes. we, which one are you doing? The number six. Number six. What do you think of famous people who come out of retirement? Okay, what do you think of famous people who come out of retirement? ¿Qué piensas de la gente famosa uh, que se retira, for example? Okay. That they are lucky. They are they lucky. Don't, they they don't have any problem. <laughs> yeah. They can retire at a very early age. Yes, because uh, fixed your, uh, their life. Yeah, they got fame, yeah. money, they're very popular. Like Lionel you know, Messi. Yeah. That uh -huh. guy is my, of my age. A younger person. Age. He's a millionaire. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that people had a best job. Uh, they uh, receive a payment for the thing they uh, enjoy to do. Right. It's yeah, a it's better a better job. Yeah, it's a talent that they have and they get paid for doing what they love to do. Yes, it's true. Yeah. Plus, I mean, they got contracts with uh, Nike, All Stars, Skechers, and all, and all those brands that they receive money for advertising. Yes, it's true. Yep. Just for teacher. Yes. Uh, we have a question. Yep. What is the meaning of the, the translate with the number six, Roxy? Six, uh -huh. number what six. I... Famous, famous people. Okay. Wow. Okay, ¿qué piensa de la gente famosa que se retira? Uh -huh. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's normal. <laughs> it's normal. They deserve to, to do that too. Uh, I think that famous people work hard because they need to keep the images and uh -huh. pr probably they, they work more hard than the normal human being. So if they go to or come out of retirement, it's, it's part of the rest of time that they need to be or spend with, with someone or their family, I think. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. It's normal. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Irene, what do you think? <laughs> of retirement. Come out. Can you hear me, Jennifer? Yes. What, what do, do you think, think of, of famous people who come out of retirement? Of retirement. 
Maybe they prepare uh save money. I'm, uh, I'm not sure, but if they are a, if they are enough money, I think it's good. But if you don't have, if they if they don't have, I think it's it's not good. Yes, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. The next one. The next one is: What do you think of the idea of living a, a retirement home? I know. I think it's a bad idea. It's a sad. It is sad. <laughs> yes, because I, I would like to stay with my family. Do you think the challenge of retirement is how to spend time without spending money? Mm. Do you think the challenge of retirement is how to spend time without spending money? Mm. Uh, the money is necessary all the life. Yes. yes. You are working or if you are 27 hours per week and that okay. person make a, a clean up the house we went with her at, at the supermarket and, and, it's, and it's anything they need and also uh, watch the clothes every week and that person oh, okay. the, the yeah, got it. imagine wow and that in that form is very cool yeah, sounds so nice, believe me. It sounds uh, I like what I liked what the thing that thing that you were telling. And and, and, so and, nice. and with that form to life, my mom, for example, not interfere with the homes for my brother because my brother living there and where and where do your brother live? In Los Angeles. Ah, LA, okay. And my mom too. And, okay. and my mom uh, live alone in one uh, building for retired people. But it's a, a very good building with a lot of uh, comfort in the apartment, very cute. And she lives very good. How old and is your mom? In Los Angeles. How old is she? Ah, 80. Oh, okay. 80, okay. 80, but uh, I speak with, with Julia, and my mom had a 
five years to retire. And she lived in one building for the older person, uh, one apartment only for her, uh, with a good condition, very cute apartment. Mm -hmm. Or oh, send um, whatever thing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, but uh, in in the house, you mm -hmm. you can you can lose more, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, when you sell uh, something, mm -hmm. uh, you you can you can get some money. That's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In this pandemic, uh, many people lost the job, and they had to invent what to do for getting money. Yeah. And uh, I I have many friends and. and they used to work at the at, at office's office, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, they lost the job and they began to cook different dishes, uh, mm -hmm. uh, tacos, costilla, pork meals. Mm -hmm. And now they are uh, dedicated to, to sell food as part of the of the the business yeah in, in my neighborhood that the people sell fruit and vegetables and other things mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's true for survival right <laughs> yeah even I, I we we used to buy people uh, for vegetables Mm -hmm. and, and they bring us to the house and we help help people to 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 to, to get money too right mm -hmm. yeah there was a financial uh impact in uh -huh. uh, in the economy yes and people That's like true. you were saying you know people go with plan b like okay i lost my job Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I need to do something, you know, I, I have, mm -hmm. I have uh, bills to pay, I have yes, uh, children, yes. I have to pay the house, mm -hmm. I mean. So. Imagine that, that, for example, we were uh, working uh, from home many months, uh, and we have to use our own internet, our own energy, and, and, and our bosses, don't tell us okay i will buy your bills so it's right. part of the 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 invest invest that we did in in a moment right not right. just just till the working or or our time exactly you know before mm -hmm. the pandemic i had um the velocity of my internet was five megabytes uh -huh. but the change and the emergency and everything mm -hmm. you know, everything was going to be online Mm -hmm. So I was forced to uh, to increase the, the the speed of the internet if yes. I wanted to get uh, classes because they were asking in some places to have a minimum of of mm -hmm. ten megabytes. You know, yes, so that's true. I I uh, I am a teacher at the Universidad Tecnológica. Okay. And some students they use their cell phones for uh, receiving class. Right. And they have to pay for each class, and uh, it's, it's very hard to listen uh, that they say, teacher, I'm sorry because I don't have saldo. Uh, funds. Uh -huh. In the phone, I say, I, we need to, to, they will see the class, but we can't tell, oh, I'm sorry, it's not my problem. Or not. Right. It's, it's right. a problem for us. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I had a similar case today. You know, mm -hmm. I, I had a, a student that she was writing and saying, look, uh, we don't have electricity at home. We have our cell phones, but we don't have funds to connect to the internet. So we're not connecting today. So, you know, so it happens. Yes, yes. I think that the universities of the is institutions, educa educational institutions, they have to be flexible in that cases. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes, they have to be uh, a little bit understanding mm -hmm. and, uh, and and bring uh, solutions, you know, to students. Bring solution. Uh -huh. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Ten dollars. 
imagine that that amount of money they reach during 30 years. If you reduce the 20% for the administration, yeah. <laughs> you have a 80, 86 thousand forty hundred dollars. Imagine if you live 20 years in the in, uh, dividing 20 and dividing 12 months, you receive 360 years, 60 dollars. All right, um, any questions or comments about retirement? Do you see yourself uh, retired? Is that, I have a question, sorry. Yes, Irene. How do you say what is that? Uh, quote. Quote. Okay, thank you. Quote, yes. With, with Q? Q U O T E quote. Okay. Yes. Thank Any you. other questions or comments, class, about retirement? Uh, no. What do you like to a, a, a no a I M for any other retirement? It's like a what? Uh, I I don't understand, Jose Aquino. What is the question? What does what does AIN mean? Okay, let me check. What question are you talking about? Is the number seven. Number seven, let me see this here. Uh, AIN. Right. AIN, yes, that. <laughs> oh, would you like to aim for an early retirement? Okay, imagine that I have a pistol. I have a gun. Before I shoot, I have to aim. Objective. Yeah, like when you have an objective, right. Uh, apuntar. That's aim. Isn't it try hard? What is it? Isn't it try hard? Uh, what do you mean? I mean, aim, uh, is, you say it's like apuntar. Right, right. So like, do I you want? I was like a, uh huh. But want. I understand is apuntar near to the target. Right, right. So ah, in other okay. words, do you want huh? an early retirement? That's what it means. Ah, okay. Yeah. I thought aim was uh, like a trying hard, but no. No, aim means uh, apuntar. Okay, like, I got it. Uh, got it. objectives in the future? Yeah, like objectives in the future, exactly. Okay. Yes, aim. Okay. Aim. It's like when someone is asking you, what do you aim in life? What do you want in life? Right? Okay, so uh, like I said, the second section of the, of, the, of the program is about listening. 
I will play an audio very similar to the ones you guys will hear uh, when you take the exam. But I have to give you four questions. You guys copy the questions, you listen to the audio, and you try to answer the questions. Are you guys ready? Okay. Yes. Question number one. So you need pen and paper, or if you want to copy into the computer, that's fine. Question number one. When did the new musical form captivate America? When did the new musical form captivate America? When did the new musical form captivate America? Okay. Number two, what's the main feature of ragtime? The main? feature of ragtime. What? Can you repeat, please? Sure. What's, what's the main feature, feature. of ragtime? Ragtime. Mm -hmm. Ragtime is in the chat. I wrote in the chat. Ragtime. Okay. Question number three. What happened in 1897? What happened in 1897? And question number four, what happened in the early 1900s? What happened in the early 1900s? 1900s. Sure. Okay. Okay, so when you're doing the listening section, uh, you need to understand the question they're asking you. So if you don't understand the question, it's going to be impossible to get the right answer. So you need to uh, be sure that the questions are clear. In the listening section, you will hear different types of listening. And for those type of listeners, you don't need any previous knowledge to understand the, uh, uh, the audio. So it's a, an open, uh, conversations can come with any type. What is the first question? When, when did the, the musical, new form musical form, form captivate America? When did the new? The new musical form, form captivate America. Captivate America. Cap. Okay, when did the new musical form captivate America? Yes. Is that what you wrote? Yes. Yes. Captivated. Captivated. What is number two? What the main feature of rag time? Thank you, of ragtime. What is the meaning of feature? Um, ragtime. So if I ask you, do you want to know the features of my cell phone? What am I saying? Characteristics. Exactly, uh -huh. characteristics. Characteristics. What is question number three? What happened in 1996? What in happened 1897. 1897. 1897. 1897. Yes, 1897. And what is the last question? What happened in the early 1900s? What happened 1900? in the early 1900s? What happened in the early... 1900s, all right? Are the questions clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, do you do you know the meaning of the word ragtime? 
Mm. You no, know I don't time? No, teacher. Ragtime is a, it's a music where the main instrument was piano. Do you remember Charles Chaplin? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So when you were watching Charles Chaplin, it was very common that there was ragtime in the background. Piano music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Are the questions clear? This moment, yes. All right. So let me put you on mute and I will play the audio in this moment. right here. Listen to part of a lecture from a music class. Can you hear the audio? A bit. No, I can. Okay, listen carefully. Listen to part of a lecture from a music class. Did you hear that? No, I didn't. No, teacher. Okay. Okay. What about now? Listen to part of a lecture from a music class. Yeah. Got Loud it? Yes. yes. All, right. Yeah. All right, here we go. Listen to part of a lecture from a music class. Just before the turn of the 20th century, a new musical form captivated America, and that was ragtime. I suspect you've all heard of ragtime. The main feature of ragtime is its syncopation. Syncopation. You know how a waltz has a beat of one, two, three, one, two, three, and a polka has one, two, three, four. These beats are regular, but in ragtime there's syncopation, a displaced beat or accent. Traditional strong beats become weak and vice versa, weak becomes strong, or the beat isn't evenly spaced but comes a little earlier than expected or later. Although ragtime had its start in 1897 with William Krell's Mississippi Rag, and I'm going to be playing that for you in a moment, it was Scott Joplin who popularized the rag with his maple leaf rag. We'll hear that one as well. Now, it was John Philip Sousa, best known for marches, actually, who began to feature rags in his band concerts in America and Europe. And by the early 1900s, ragtime was the most popular musical art form in America. All right. Do you want to hear it one more time? Or do you have the answers? One more time, listen carefully. One more time. All right. Listen to part of a lecture from a music class. Just before the turn of the 20th century, a new musical form captivated America, and that was ragtime. I suspect you've all heard of ragtime. The main feature of ragtime is its syncopation. Syncopation. You know how a waltz has a beat of one, two, three, one, two, three, and a polka has one, two, three, four. These beats are regular, but in ragtime there's syncopation, a displaced beat or accent. Traditional strong beats become weak and vice versa. Weak becomes strong or the beat isn't evenly spaced, but comes a little earlier than expected, or later. Although ragtime had its start in 1897 with William Krell's Mississippi Rag, and I'm going to be playing that for you in a moment, it was Scott Joplin who popularized the rag with his maple leaf rag. We'll hear that one as well. Now, it was John Philip Sousa, best known for marches, actually, who began to feature rags in his band concerts in America and Europe. And by the early 1900s, ragtime was the most popular musical art form in America. All right. Uh, 
Who has the answer for the first one? When did the new musical form captivate America? 20th century. Okay, that, do they say in the 20th century or is there a war before the 20th century? Anybody else? Yes, they mentioned the 20th century. They said before the 20th century. Before the 20th century. Now, what is the main feature of ragtime? Anybody? Syncopation. 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 That's the meaning of syncopation. Question three. What happened in 1897? Increase in Mississippi rap. What happened in 18? Yeah. Star ragtime. Yeah. Ragtime started. Yes. I have but, a question for the second. Yes. I, I, I can understand the, the same occupation. I understand no. what you say. Syncopation. Syncopation. I, I, I can grab. Syncopation. Syncopation. Sure. Yeah, okay. do, do you remember uh, what ragtime is? Mm -hmm. Music from what instrument? Piano. From the piano. piano. So the piano has different keys. Some of these keys, they produce soft sounds, others they produce strong sounds. But the syncopation makes, uh, it's a combination that people make that you make the soft keys sound loud and the loud ones you make them sound soft. It's, it's a, a music language that I don't know much about, but uh, that is syncopation when uh, the traditional sounds, they come in a different form. That is syncopation. Uh, what is the word you said? I don't know if it was Jose or Oscar. The, the syncope, the syncope, syncope. Is, is a Spanish word. A Spanish word. Uh -huh. Okay, good. I didn't know the word in Spanish, syncope. Okay. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's, a, it's a musical, uh, no, I don't know about music, but it's, it's a musical term. And also syncope is a, is a, when you have beats and you have syncope, it, it, it does irregularly. Right, right. Irregular. It's like irregular. Okay. All right. And what happened in the early 1900s? Half time was the most popular music for America. Yeah, ragtime was the most popular music in popular America. Music in America. Very good. Okay, we will discuss this particular audio tomorrow. Uh, when we come back. Have a good night. Thank you for making time and the space. Thank you. Be well. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye, -bye. Have a good night. Good Bye to all. Have a good night. Good night. Bye.